Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Harami United. Boys, we must be doing good, man. We seem like we're doing full time now, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? All these videos that we've been doing. It's the hype, the of, uh, it's, it's the hype of Ruben Amorin, isn't it? We mentioned it earlier and it's come out and we thought Mazda do one of the podcasts. You know what? Swear we're gonna come... Somebody's watching these, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to come on to that in a minute. Um, but Absal. Siloti, tell us about it. We can see this. Yeah, man. On. Um, one of my friends' brands, obviously, it's uh, they call it a, it's a startup at the minute. Um, but yeah, basically, it's tea from all the you know all the ingredients from Bangladesh. It's a bit like your your desi tea. So you get the loose ingredients. There's no tea bags involved, and they're in tins. And you literally you put it in the water, you boil it, and then again, you know, you add your milk, your sugar, whatever. Um, but no, it's good stuff, man. I mean, Bengalis do it differently to how Pakistanis do it. I know that me and Aki had it, and the the it's flavors nice. hit you, bro. The, yeah, the masala nice. one, the dalchini one. Uh, there's a few more flavors, but look, it like I said, it's a startup brand. They're making their way through. Check them out on Instagram. They don't have a Twitter. I think they have a Facebook and a website. It's Silo T, or at Silo T, I should say. But yeah, man, like, listen, it's Desi Jar, bro. You can't, yeah, man. You, know what I'm you can't go wrong. You, you know said it mean? yourself, and the Desi chart comes and the podcast stops. <laughs> we, we, we've done that last week. We know that. So, yeah, what we'll do, we will drop the um, links that we have got. So, people, you know, check them out, please. Um, that will be very much appreciated. Right. I, I said it in the group chat. I'm going to change this to this channel from Brown Monday to the Simpson Monday. <laughs> So we, we, we put a podcast we, out we yesterday. We predict the US presidential election. Trump. Trump. Do you want to do, you want to do like a map of states? <laughs> man, I already kind of know, man. So it'll be, it's going to be Trump, man. Uh, look, don't come at us. We're not saying it's our political <laughs> views or anything like that. It was just a yeah, question. Just, and yeah, I just we, gave we it We are an politically not involved. Not involved. Man, we can't go to our own bloody um, house in order, so I'm not going to comment on anybody else. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, what well, we had a podcast out uh, yesterday, Sack Eric Ten Hag, the Sack team. We had uh, the Harami Monday podcast this morning, um, you know, during our lunchtime, um, about, you know, the sacking of Eric Ten Hag. And then we asked the question, who do we want to get? You know, uh, me and Aki said uh, Amarim. Jello man, chili man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I didn't want to break your heart at that time, but I knew that wouldn't happen. Um, but yeah, um, you know, we are going to go and put the lottery on. I know, you, do you know what I mean. So I am going to do that. But yeah, Amarim, thoughts, Aki. Obviously, I know you obviously said him as well. What, what, um, what appealed to you about Amarim? Obviously, let, let's just put this out. It's not done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But when the big bombers, Ornstein. I mean, well, Fabrizio, I don't know about Fabrizio mentioned it, but so many others have now gone with it. Yeah, they're talking about it. it looks like it's done. Before why, did you, why did you think him? Before going to what? it, I, I just love how Ornstein just drops it. In the morning, it was Ten Hag, literally just Hag. dropped it. It went quiet. The next one was literally a morning. Just got it. Took us yeah, and, off. And, and I think, do we, do we, you know, I think, I don't think it's a coincidence. Yeah. Because I think the opportunity to sack Tenag, like we said, was to be two international windows away. Mm. And yesterday was probably, out of any of those games that, you know, either lost or drew, yesterday wasn't the one where you'd sack him. Yeah. I forget, yeah. forget the culmination of how it's happened. Because mm. yesterday was actually unlucky in VAR yeah, yeah, against yeah, us. Yeah. So I think we believe that They'd already lined Amarim up. They'd gone out, spoken to yeah. him, and they were very confident yeah. that this was yeah. going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon we spoke to him in the summer? When West Ham and Chelsea and everyone was snooping um, Liverpool were the closest, weren't they, I think? Liverpool were the closest, And yeah. West Ham, yeah, yeah. thingy. Yeah. yeah, I think Chelsea won't <laughs> win him as well before I and some risk. Yeah. Um, so it shows that he's, he's, he's a good coach and stuff. And after, do you remember when we was in, 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 in Pakistan with the Benfica guys? The guy yeah, they were full of praise for him. And look, he's a sport yeah. Lisbon guy. They're Benfica mm. lads. 
Um, the rivalry is strong, you know. But apparently, um, Amorin came from the Benfica setup, but Sporting uh, the one who snatched him off. Snatched him away. Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 What these lot were saying were like he's the next, like the next big thing when it comes to a manager. The manager coming out of Portugal, and mm. like Jose two point oh. Yeah. I know it's look I watch Please him, don't. I like, Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Success wise, I'll take it. I'll take, I'll take it. Like, success wise. I'm done. I'm done. No. <laughs> look, you know what? I'm more in yeah, we have to give him time. From in, in your perspective now, this is the first ever managing appointment, yeah. Again, I support the team. Yeah. If they're mm. gonna back the manager, you're gonna back the manager. You know what I mean? The team is manager, the players and stuff. I, I, you know what is I do have a feeling he might get this right, you know, uh, in your Sunday morning. I've got a deep got a feeling that it might just be the perfect one. That this might yeah. be it. I think I think everybody needs to hear this, uh, and mm. I think we're very, very, very clear on this. Yeah. We want Amarim or whoever was going to be the next manager to win and uh, to be successful to win. We don't want another manager to be sacked in 18 months, you know, whatever, how many months' time. We don't want, we want him to be successful. <clears throat> we want him to be successful. And like, you, you know what, like you, Aki, irrespective of my feelings about this ownership, and I've mentioned it plenty of times, I don't think we'll win anything significant yeah. under this ownership. I am more than happy to be proven wrong. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I will back Amarim, just like I backed Eric Ten Hag. Um, you know, I, I think Amarim seems like the type of, you know, person. He's 39, so he's young. Yeah. He um, got sporting a title for the first time after so many years. I think the last time they had a um, title was in 2002. Yeah. Wow. I think um, there's... Um, and then he before, went back to him. He went back, yeah. back to him. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, they appointed him in 2020. They... Um, he won after 19 years in 21. Um, won a second league title. What was here in um, last? Well, this season just gone as well. And they're currently top um, of the league as well, and not lost a game in in the and league. And they play some fantastic football. <laughs> and they play some fantastic football as well. So look, on paper, everything looks like you know he's you know young, um, up and coming. You know, like I said, the likes of Liverpool wanted him, Chelsea. Um, so he's he's a sought after manager. You know, he's playing this brand of football, which everybody will like. You know, again, he, he a sleeping giant in mm. sporting. He he brought them back to life with, with titles. I feel like I've got deja vu. <laughs> You're going to mention because Ten Hag was up and coming and he broke the duck with I. Are you going to mention that? <laughs> he was up and coming. Okay, he was, he was older. He was up and coming. He didn't get sacked. He wasn't, uh, you know, he wasn't taking sabbatical. Do you know what I mean? Um, okay, we kind of went and got him while he was at his peak at Ajax. But he was also playing at a, a league which people deem not big enough. So, you know, when we talk about winning, you know, uh, we, we say Ajax, you know, he won stuff with Ajax. That's always like, it never counts for whatever reason. Yeah. It, it doesn't bore. So I think Ruben Amarim will have to suffer the same. Absolutely. Um, Hold everyone to the same standards. Um, Ruben Amarim also... And these are the things that are yet to come. We'll no doubt sign players from Sporting because look, we've been linked with Sporting players even before Ruben Amorim. You know, he, he came from PSG. Well, yeah, you know, I even a year. Ago, yeah, yeah, but he was there. You're right. We was um, linked to whilst he was at uh, Sporting. I think we were um, linked to the likes of Inacio. Yeah, a couple of the other players as well that we've been linked with Sporting. So I think. Inevitably, we will get players that, that are sporting. But the question I want to know is, will this fan base now back Ineos? And what I mean by back Ineos, uh, what I really mean is, will they now back this manager and not jump at him at the the first inevitable um, hurdle that he comes across? Um. That, that's a question only the fan base can answer. That's a question we will only see, as you said, when the inevitable arises, when that first inconvenience, that first hurdle comes about. But for me, and I said this to Aki in the car, I rang Aki on my way home from the kebab shop because I've just had kebabs. Shout out Barbecue Middleton, by the way. Check them out, boys. Um, but yeah, I said this to Aki and I said, what the hell's going on? Like, it's been such a crazy day. 
Tenag sacked, now we're linked with Amarin and Dirt, all this. And if Ornstein says we're in discussions, boys, we're in, we're in deep. Yeah. This isn't just, hi, Ruben, um, we'd like to know if you want the job. No, this is, we've held talks and we're probably figuring out what his release fee is from sport. No, right? I, I, I like, I like we just touched upon. I think we're, we're beyond that. Because you don't sack the manager in the morning and then you get another Next drop by day. so 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 close. Yeah, do you know what I mean? My thing with yeah, Ruben is look, like you said, he's young, he's up and coming. We all know he plays a fantastic brand of football, he's got sporting playing very well. If you're Ineos and you are setting up a project, let's call it, we know we have Project 2028. This is, in my eyes, this is the perfect manager to do it with. And you put that mandate out there. Of, this is the project manager. If you don't want to be part of this, there's the door. That goes for players. That goes for staff. You get in, and it basically it comes down to everyone pulling in the same direction. Like every everything has got to be aligned now. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So. Yeah, I think I fear for him and, and and I'm right to fear for him because nothing else has happened in these 11 years that will give me anything to say otherwise. But the only, fear the, for him. the only thing fearful for me is with Amorin is when it comes to... So the pressure of being United Manager, everyone's in it, the media, the whole press release and everything. Like, that's going to be right in his face. That's the only thing that is kind of creep my back in a way. Do you know what I mean? How but, will he handle that? Because yeah, how exactly on on that, I think what time did it drop? It just after half eleven, I think it was about mm-hmm. Eddie Ten Hag. Yeah. And and I think by half one, I don't think even by that time, it was already getting stories about Rude Van Nistelrooy of mm-hmm. how some of the players don't want him as the manager. Yeah, and scared yeah. that he's gonna come a manager. There's that one post as well when I think in 2013 he'd posted about where he'd painted himself black and he was on this ship and he was doing so so mm. all these other crazy things were coming out that we've not seen before, bearing in mind he's been at United since the summer. Now that he, you know, looks to be the manager, all these crazy things come out. Do you know what I mean? So I can only imagine, you know, and that's just interim. I can only imagine what's going to be like with Ruben. I really hope he doesn't have any skeletons in his wardrobe. I, for one, depending on obviously what it is, and that's, you know, as long as he's not an axe murderer or something like that, I don't give a shit. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I, I, even when, even when it was like... Yeah, I don't want an axe murderer here. Yeah, keep it on that. <laughs> um, Halloween and all. Um, you know... Even when we were successful, I didn't care what our players did off the pitch. I, I still don't care what they do off yeah. the pitch. I mean, as long as they perform on the pitch, that's all I care about. Yeah. So I think Amarin is going to get a rude awakening. It would have been easier at Liverpool. The scrutiny wouldn't have been nowhere near as much as it at Liverpool. You know, West Ham. Easier at West Ham. Exactly. Look, boys, obviously, <clears throat> it's only a quick one. Um, you know, we, I think we had to speak about this one because, yeah. um, you know, I think it, it is another poignant um, part of where we're going under this, um, w- you know, with this Ineos and this, this new co-ownership. But <clears throat> obviously, only time will tell. But overall, we're positive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I want the here we go. I want the... Ex- you know the David Ornstein exclusive that he drops. I want it. Let's get it. Done. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Let's get it done. Like we said, Ineos has to get this right with Amarin. I think we talked about it before. It, we, this is a very you know uh, pivotal part uh, of what will will come around the corner. But look, everyone, um, thank you for tuning in. We did say in the earlier podcast this morning um, that we had a very you know, this next we've got a podcast coming out soon. We had a very big personality, um, a legend of the Premier League era on our podcast. So please do you know subscribe, put that notification bell on, and you won't want to miss this man. See you soon. Yeah.